Alright, good day guys. Um, Werner Nivatje from uh, the Easy Wheels channel. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different from the ones I've been making. Okay, so the, all the other stuff uh, so far is practical uh, stuff that you need to pass your physical test, but this one will be the learner's test. Okay, there's uh, a few people that request, uh, requested. Uh, this information so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a complete learners uh, lesson okay uh, so in this lesson there will be all the information you need to pass your actual test okay so it will be completely for free okay all that I ask is that you like and subscribe to this channel and you know give it to your friends so if there's somebody that you know that's battling with learners and to pass learners give this information to them okay and ask them to like and subscribe as well that will I will uh, appreciate it tremendously okay so what uh, I just want to just tell you a little bit uh, what the learners is all about now it's, there's uh, actually a, a few sections uh, that you need to know. You need to know your um, road markings, you need to know the rules of the road, you need to know the traffic signs of course and you need to know the sketch of um, the vehicle that you're going to um, go for your test. Okay, uh, alright so that is the basic information. It's about four pages long and all that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, give you the information on that four pages all you need to know or of that four pages you need to know everything okay so I'm going to show you the four pages uh, what you need to know and of course we're going to go uh, through the complete um, material uh, that will be the actual learners class and if you know that information and if you know the questions uh, that you've got a, a option of to buy it to buy them uh, if you want to buy them uh, that will of course help you tremendously because if you know the four pages that I'm going to give you and you um, know the test which is nearly exactly the same as what you will get uh, at the traffic department now I just want to emphasize this is it's not the actual test okay uh, if it was the actual test, that would be fraud, and that's not what I'm about. Okay, all right. So it will be very close to the test. So if you know that, and of course for that information, um, you're gonna there is uh, a money to be paid if you're interested in that. Okay, you don't have to uh, order it. You don't have to pay for it. All that you need to do is to watch. The learners as often as possible to get the information to actually pass your test okay so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna just gonna pause the video for a while uh, I'm gonna get my papers ready and then we're gonna continue okay okay guys I'm back uh, we talked about four pages that you will need uh, for your test now this is the actual four pages uh, this is the front page with the traffic uh, signs on them, there's road markings there and of course the sketch of the vehicle. Alright, um, the sketch of course if you go to uh, for code 10 it will be exactly the same thing. Um, I mean everything is the same in the, in the, in the truck, I'm talking about the controls uh, of, the, of the vehicle. Alright, now that's your first page. Your second page uh, that's how it looks like. It's your um, answers on the first page. And then your third page will be the rules of the road. Okay, that's that one. And the other one was is just general information, uh, you know, of the K53 that you need to know for your test. All right. Now I just want to say, um, if you want these papers in Afrikaans, uh, you can request that for me. For this, these four papers I just showed you are absolutely free. So I will. Uh, post it um, uh, down below in the description and you can just get it there um, if you want the Afrikaans you can then download Afrikaans if you want, if you want the English you can download the English alright but I'm just going to do this actual video in English alright so that would be much better 
All right, so that's your four pages. So all that I'm going to do with you, I'm going to run through these four pages, um, and then of course you will link it up with the pages down in the description. Okay, just remember, don't forget like and subscribe. All right, I will appreciate it tremendously. Okay, now if you look at the first page uh, of that four that I showed you. All right, there's various uh, road signs. You just got to remember a triangle uh, road sign is a warning sign. Okay, all right, so that's important for you. And a sign with a yellow background, that's a temporary sign. Okay, so that's that's that one. Okay, so if you start with this actual test, you will see um, that it's numbered from 1 to 62. Okay. And then that includes the road markings and then of course the sketch now you will also notice at the second page that uh, the sketch there's no answers for that sketch all right so what I will do is um, I will tell you what everything is and you just you just make notes of it okay all right so if you look at number one down the page uh, it will be um, a speed bump all right, just a normal speed bump. Uh, number two is uh, 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 a river bend, or the road uh, ends because of water. Number three, it's a low water bridge. Uh, number four uh, will be a motor gate to the left. Uh, number five is a slippery road. Uh, number six is a crossroad. Okay. Number seven, an uh, upside down triangle. That is a yield sign okay and uh, number eight it's a traffic circle uh, number nine is concealed driveways okay uh, from the left and then the right uh, number 10 will be a pedestrian crossing uh, 11 is a robot uh, number 12 is a two-way road number 13 is a secondary cross uh, cross road. now all that you got to remember is when you look at these road signs you will be um, uh, when you face this um, sign uh, for example the secondary crossroad will be you on the small road and of course you've got to give way to uh, cars on the big road uh, okay the next one will be be on the lookout for agricultural vehicles um, then the tar road ends and the gravel road begins uh, the road um, narrows both sides. Um, then it's a there's a priority crossroad. A priority crossroad again. You now on the the big road, and the the, the roads on the on the side of that that road got that car's got to give away to you. Number eighteen is a, a one vehicle a structure only. In other words, just one vehicle at a time. Uh, 19 uh, be on the lookout for cyclist 20 is a emergency flashlight okay now the emergency flashlight uh, just to give you a good example it's just a normal triangle with a yellow light uh, in it uh, to give you a little bit more information on it uh, it's um, uh, to recognize it today because you, you hardly see uh, those signs all you remember if you see a sign like that there's danger on the road and you probably will be stopped okay to give you a good example, if you um, go towards a toll road where you actually pay fees to get through, uh, not e-toll of course, <laughs> but uh, like, a, like a manual one, so um, what will happen is before you, you get to the toll road, there's a board, so it's a, a, a square board and it's got various lights on it, yellow lights, and it will be flashing. Okay, and that sound actually it's basically um, how it comes today uh, or you will see it the most in that form okay so all you got to remember is danger on the road you probably will be stopped okay so that's the emergency flashlight the next one will be number 21 which will be a general warning sign that's the one with the exclamation mark but normally they give you the problem so in other words in this case it's potholes it can be grass cutting it can be cattle all that um, uh, information uh, but the information will be given to you okay then we get to signs these blue signs if you look at these blue signs over here um, you actually got to do what um, 
that sign tells you to do okay now in this case number 22 will be reserved for motor cars now reserved for motor cars means you can use the road if you want to if you want to you can use the road uh, all right i'm getting back uh, to that one specifically as well number 23 is the minimum speed now you will see on the form uh it's there's a 50 on it and that's minimum for that particular road number 24 it's only motor cars all right now uh, number 22 was reserved for motor cars so you can use the road if you want to but number 24 is only motor cars so you must use the road so that's too different okay number 25 yeah you got to just keep on going straight you're gonna go straight and uh, number 26 uh, you turn only left uh, ahead so it's left turn uh, 27 is right turn and that's you can actually put those words in only right uh, must turn right must turn left okay and um, uh, right and then the next section of um, of road signs will be uh, one uh, that you got a tr with a truck with a little flame at the back now that means all the trucks that carry hazardous substances are allowed to use the road on that particular times indicated on the board okay only those trucks so in other words if there's any other truck they may use the road all the time but those trucks that carries the hazardous substances may only use it during those times indicated on the board okay the next one you will see on the form will be 29 it will be um, uh, the maximum speed during the night and uh, number 30 has got actually three meanings it's um, um, a um, it's a road it's um, <laughs> it's um, it's a winding road <laughs> it's a winding road uh, for 12 kilometers and you can only drive 60 kilometers an hour okay the n next one is a, a rest or bend um, all right then the next one is a cool the suck or a dead end uh, the next one will be uh, the right of way now the right of way um, is a one I don't see that very often in South Africa but for your test purposes you need to know the right of way you've got the right of way of the cars coming from the right and the left okay the next one uh, on this paper will be uh, number 34 which is your um, one-way road now one-way road can be a one-way road to the right one-way road to the left or just a one-way road straight uh, on so in other words what you need to know with the one-way road is two roads going in the same direction okay that's your um, one-way road okay the next one um, on the paper you'll see it's a cross uh, that will be highlighted the red cross now uh, the name of it is a lane reserved for oncoming traffic now uh, to give you a proper example of this if you uh, also drive towards a, a toll road and you're actually at the actual toll, toll road so you're gonna come into uh, the bay there to pay so where would you know where to go now if you look on top of the little house that they got there where you got to pay there would actually be a sign um, with uh, with a green one with a, with, a, um, with with a mark in it that's, that tells you this and of course you got to pay but the other one this is where number 35 comes in uh, is that it will be that cross uh, on top of it uh, highlighted and it means of course a lane reserve for oncoming traffic so you know you wouldn't go into that lane so in practical terms how it works uh, if they close a the road here on the highway or something then they will actually do the same thing but on the actual board they will cross it out okay so or if they of course busy with roadworks then it will apply even more okay so but they will mark it for you a lane reserved for oncoming traffic okay so the next one is uh, no overtaking next one all trucks carrying hazardous substances uh, are not allowed on that road uh, the next one is no entry now no entry sign uh, of course is that board with a with a white line in the middle now that you will get at the bottom of a one-way road okay so no entry so you can't go in there um, so that's where that sign um, 
um, will be posted normally. Okay, number 39, no motor cars. Number 40, no minibuses. Uh, number 41, uh, you need permission to enter. Okay, number 47, it's no stopping sign, uh, the S with a line through it uh, during the times indicated on the board. Now, just remember this, when uh, when you get a sign like that with the S with a stri stripe through it, there's no stopping. So the question is, can you park there? Okay, now the question is, uh, or the answer is, no you can't, because you can't stop. Okay, now there's also a board that's got a P on it with a stripe through it. Now. The question is, can you stop there? All right. Now the, 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 now the answer for that is you can. You may stop there for a moment just to, you know, um, just to, um, um, uh, just to um, load off somebody or just drop somebody, uh, and then, uh, of course, you just continue. All right. So that's the two big, uh, big difference of that two signs. Right. Okay. The next sign is uh, cool the sack to the right. Uh, next one, cool the sack to the left. Um, number forty-five has got two meanings. Uh, it means if you want to go left, you may turn. Uh, you must. You, you got to yield. But if you want to go straight, you got to stop. Okay. So straight stop, left yield. Okay. Number forty-six is a four-way stop. A four-way stop. Um, if you don't know how to use a four-way stop, um, the one. Uh, if four cars, if you're traveling and four car, cars um, get to the same intersection that you are going to, um, then the car that stopped first, that's the one that go first. So the one that stopped first, second, third, fourth, and so on. Okay, so that's how you do that one. And then the, the next one is actually a road marking, it's a loading zone. Now, lo loading zone is for vehicles loading of goods. To various businesses so there's actually a parking bay which is in yellow and that parking bay is where the goods vehicle stop doesn't matter if it's a truck or a, a actual um, uh, car if it delivers parcels or goods to businesses then that's the parking for them so if they get to that uh, parking bay or the loading zone and it's full they can't use the other bays they got to use the loading bay right for example there and of course the minibus taxis or the minibuses for your test purposes you um, they got to stop there and of course drop off people and collect people but you know most of the times they don't even do that all right so that is um, that one number 49 uh, it's called it's a it's a board with a 10 on it with a t it means mass exceeding only so it means uh, not 10 ton, 10 ton trucks uh, must use the vehicle, uh, must use the road, but more than 10 tons must use the road. Okay, so it's not the same size, it's more than. All right. Next one is no hooting, next one is maximum height, uh, next one uh, will be uh, maximum length uh, of a vehicle. Uh, the next one you'll see there, number 53, is a robot, and on that sp particular one, the the arrow is flashing to the red uh, to, to, to the right um, so uh, what will happen is when you uh, get to the robot uh, if you need to turn right of course you can just normally take that turn and go to the right but of course if you're not going to use that uh, arrow you're going to stop there in front of the line wait for the light to turn green and of course go off okay the next one is a t-junction chevron and a t-junction chevron is just uh, exactly as it uh, as, uh, as I t tell you that the chevron is where you get into the road there's actually a t-junction forming okay and all that it means is you can turn left and right into the road okay so that is a t-junction chevron uh, then the next one I want to jump to number 62 which is also part of the, of the road signs there and number 62 is a danger plate now a danger plate um, uh, that particular one is the one to the right. Now, why it's not to the left, it's not pointing. The pointing piece there is pointing to where you can actually go safely past. So, the big gap that you see, the big gap, that is the danger. All right, so you can actually safely pass the, on the left hand side, but of course, the danger is on the right. All right. Okay, and of course, the left will be the other way around. 
so that is the most important road markings that you will get uh, not road markings road signs that you will get now uh, we're going to get to a section now called the road markings and these road markings are you know some of the most important ones and uh, you'll see number 55 on the page will be a traffic circle now traffic circle is uh, the question is how do you use a traffic circle now traffic circle you use uh, like this let's say you're approaching the traffic circle and a car is approaching from your right okay now the rule is you're going to give way to traffic on your right hand side but it must be in the circle okay so in other words if you're approaching the circle and there's a car approaching on the right and there's nothing in the circle all right who's got the right of way in the circle first Okay, so the right of way in the circle first will be the one that crosses the line first. Okay, so if you cross the line first, so you're first in the circle, you got the right of way, but if the car on the right uh, passes or go into the circle first, then you've got to give way to them. Okay, so um, remember, you give, um, you give the right of way to cars on the right, but they must be in the circle. All right, so that's that one. Then number 36 is... Um, uh, you will see it's like arrows painted on the road with a, an, a solid line so all that it means is uh, you will see on the paper it will see, it, it will um, actually tell you the no overtaking line will start now where will you get these uh, road markings you will get the, these road markings um, before you go around the corner or up a hill so anywhere you can't see um, they will warn you even more to be aware not to overtake all right then number 57 here on this page will be the actual no overtaking line so it's a white solid line in the middle of the road and number 58 will be two white solid solid lines in the middle of the road so all that it means is it means you can't overtake the one line means and the other line means you can't um, uh, turn into a driver okay so you can't turn into it so you can't cross so it's no overtaking and no crossing all right so um what's the difference between number 58 and number 57 on this page there's actually no difference between the two except number 58 you may not cross to go into a driveway okay number 59 is a basically the two same white lines but there's a, a yellow line or a yellow stroke right in the middle of it and that means it's a traffic island again okay, I remember traffic islands get is various sh shapes and sizes but for your test purposes you need to know that one okay then the next one is um, uh, a railroad crossing and that particular one that's only one um, crossing all right then uh, number 61 is the same as number seven on top it's it's a hill painted a hill sign painted on the road so it means you're going to give way to trains and cars and and all that okay so that is your most important road signs that you will get for your test then you will see the next uh, piece here will be this which will be your um, actual sketch that you will need for your test uh, now if you look at number one I'm just going to go through uh, because like I said it's not on the answers of, of this uh, pages okay so number one on the sketch will be your rear view mirror number two will be your wipers number three will be your side mirror number four will be your steering wheel number five will be your indicators number six will be your gear lever number seven will be your handbrake number eight will be your clutch number nine will be your brake uh, alright and of course number 10 will be your accelerator or your petrol and number 11 will be your um, it will be your hooter alright so just to ask you a few questions and uh, that's all the answers of the sketch so just to give you a few um, uh, answers there uh, or just the scenarios how they can ask it uh, is the following uh, let's say for example you want to go into a shopping center you stopped your vehicle uh, and um, you were to prevent it from going backwards or forwards right so you will use number 
seven to do that whilst you use the handbrake. So um, the next question uh, what they, can, um, they might ask is which two numbers over there do you use to change the gears? Or on this spe specific uh, 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 sketch, you're going to use number six and number eight. So it's the gear lever and the clutch to change your gears. All right, to stop the vehicle completely will be number nine. To accelerate the vehicle will be number 10. To, if there's danger in the road, you will use number 11. To change, uh, to, to, uh, change the vehicle, to, um, uh, to change the direction of the vehicle, you need number four to do that. And to show that you're changing direction, you need number five. Okay, so that's your most important ones. And another one that I can give you is that there's a question uh, in your test where they ask you which of these numbers you would you use to make a turn to the left in the road. Okay, and all that you need to know for that one is they will give you uh, numbers and you take the one with the most numbers. All right, all the numbers. All right, for that. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue with this now now. That is your first page of the learners. All right, the second page, like I said, is the answers on the, for the first page. And then, of course, we're going to do the rules of the road and the general information. Okay, guys, the next page will be the rules of the road. All right, so the rules of the road, um, all that you need to know is you need to know everything on that piece of paper. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through it. Uh, okay, so you basically got to know everything written on that page. And the same with uh, number four, the general information about the K53 and uh, you know your learners, that you need to know everything on the page. All right, so if you look at the rules of the road, um, all right, so the most important rule of the road in South Africa is that you're going to drive the left hand side of the road. All right, so. Uh, Alright, so you may not drive the vehicle on the right hand side of a two-way road or you may not drive uh, over a traffic island or stop on it or use the hooter. Um, Alright, you're going to use the hooter to, you know, as a, as a, to warn a, a person but you're not going to use the hooter to, you know, to just hoot and and uh, up to now, if you test your test purposes, you're not going to use the hooter and just wait for your friend there walking in, in the street. Okay, so you, because you get penalized for it. Then, um, all right, like I said, the most important rule of the road is to keep left and pass right. You may only to avoid an accident. And don't cause obstruction or interrupt the free flow of traffic. Don't drive a vehicle that makes excessive noise. Okay, then uh, no overtaking on a hill or a curve, uh, or you can't see, uh, or, or if you can't see at a distance of, a, of um, 150 meters because of smoke or fog, and um, you can't stop your vehicle on a pedestrian crossing. Uh, you may uh, not take an. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> Can't read my handwriting here. Okay, uh, so you can't um, uh, stop your vehicle in a pedestrian crossing. You may not uh, overtake on it. You cannot overtake on a solid white line. Uh, if a vehicle overtake you, drive as near as possible to the left. That's now the yellow line, and you may not accelerate while being overtaken. Okay, so I would uh, overtaken on the left. Uh, provided if it's safe to do so without driving on the shoulders or on the verge of the road or even or when the the driver in front has indicated that he intends to turn to the right okay then when a police or traffic officer instructs you to do so that's now of course passing on the left hand side of the road and where two lanes move in the same direction okay so like a one-way road you may overtake on the left hand side now, on duty, police officer or traffic officer signals must be obeyed as these take preferences over any other traffic sign. At the intersection, the driver turning to the right must yield to, uh, to vehicles and traffic approaching from the front, and all drivers must wait for pedestrians. At a pedestrian crossing, no driver may cross a public road or enter an intersection when there is any danger of blocking. 
the traffic okay all right then of course a four-way stop you are already done and uh, the first vehicle to stop should be allowed to go off first uh, parking is prohibited in any place where stopping is prohibited and in, or in, 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 in contravention of the Reverend Road Traffic uh, sign. Uh, you cannot park on a pavement uh, within 9 meters uh, of the approach sign of a pedestrian crossing and within 5 meters of any intersection you may not park or stop. Okay. Stopping, nobody may stop alongside or opposite an excavation or obstruction within any tunnel or subway or any bridge on the right hand side of the road. Uh, the road, um, okay, of course, you can't stop on the right hand side of the road facing oncoming traffic, so that's not allowed. And alongside or opposite any other vehicle where the road is less than nine meters wide. Okay, so all that information is on the page. Uh, another important part is towing of vehicles. Uh, tow road may not be more than 3.5 meters. The speed may not exceed 30 kilometers per hour. Uh, and there's no passengers allowed in a towed vehicle unless it's a semi-trailer. Okay, a semi-trailer, vehicles with weak brakes must be towed with a tow bar. Now, a semi-trailer, um, um, it, it, it says it's a semi-trailer, but if you um, these vehicles or the tractors what they actually do in um, uh, you know if you uh, in uh, in an uh, area where you um, uh, pick fruit uh, or, or let's say on a farm of course and you want to go in between uh, you know the various sections of the farm then you would use a tractor with a semi-trailer now on the semi-trailer you allowed of course passengers all right because people are picking the fruit uh, they're loading those baskets in this trailer and they're also climbing in the trailer to go to the next section all right so that's the only way um, there can be passengers in a in a trailer or a vehicle um, uh, be towed all right only in that scenario all right so that is uh, that one then um, pedestrians are not allowed on a freeway cars may not stop on a freeway or give hand signals on a freeway if you're reversing only do it for short distances maintain a reasonable following distance uh, for cars it's three seconds and for trucks it's five seconds uh, prevent the passengers uh, or the passenger from holding the steering wheel while you're driving pull away from a parked position if it's safe give the right of way to any emergency vehicle all right you know what an emergency vehicle is emergency vehicle is something like the police or the ambulance or the fire brigade um, you've got to give way to them of course if you in your test and uh, that it so happens that there's an emergency vehicle in your way then what you need to do is you need to uh, give way to that vehicle or you, you've got to make an effort to do it if you don't do it guess what they fail you all right because you didn't make any effort to move out of the way. All right, so a bit unfair, but um, you're going to, uh, of course, make an effort to get out of the way of the emergency vehicle, of course, in a safe way, safe way. All right, um, then, if you're in an accident, um, person involved must stop his vehicle, check if uh, there's any uh, injuries, give name and addresses and car registration to police uh, or any other party involved report it within 24 hours to the police don't use any drugs or alcohol afterwards okay so that's the most important uh, rules of the road that you need to know so all that i'm uh, saying to you there is <coughs> please know everything on the page all right okay your next section uh, the general section uh, will be uh, also important you need to know this uh, all these uh, information so um, all right first of all the learner driver must be a person with a valid driver's license um, must be with a person with a valid driver's license sorry okay so in other words you can't be alone behind the steering wheel when you go for a for a, just for a driving practice there must be a person with a valid license next to you okay you may drive on a freeway as a learner uh, you may carry passengers in your vehicle as a learner 
and a learner license is valid for 24 months. You may not, as a learner driver, drive a vehicle towing another vehicle, and you may not drive a taxi, a bus, or an ambulance. Okay, headlights uh, must be on between sunset and sunrise during day when visibility is less than 150 meters. Your driving beams at your normal lights uh, is 100, uh, sorry, uh, your driving beams or your brights is 100 meters. So if you click that button, it must only shine 100 meters in front of you. Of course, the passing beams is 45 meters. All right, hooting uh, audible for 90 meters may not vary in pitch and it's a warning signal only. Okay, then tires, the thread pattern of your tires must be um, a minimum one millimeter. Seat belts only compulsory when driving forward, not compulsory when reversing. Everybody wears seat belts, even children. Okay, conveyance of goods. Now, if you carry goods on your vehicle, I'm just talking about your normal vehicle. Uh, the height, uh, and then I'm talking about the height, is not from the roof upwards, it's from the floor or from the ground upwards. That is 4.3. Now, all these, what I'm giving you is maximums. All right, it can be less, but it can be more. Okay, width is 2.5 meters. Uh, overhauling rear is 1.8 meters. Uh, overhanging front end is 300 millimeters. Defensive driving system is the K53 system. That is the system, of course, that you're going to use after you get your learners. Okay, the first action is to check your mirrors, and the last action is to check your blind spot. Okay, speed limits. Um, in town, uh, it will be 60 kilometers an hour. The freeway will be 120 kilometers an hour, and any other road will be determined by the actual road sign. Braking distance is longer on a wet road, it's longer on a high, uh, if you're driving high speed, and it's longer in a heavy motor vehicle if you're using that. Okay, and it's illegal to park a vehicle outside an urban area for longer than 24 hours. All right, so otherwise what I'm saying is if you're going from town to town and you're just outside of the town and your vehicle breaks, then your vehicle may not stand there for longer than 24 hours. If the authorities uh, notice it, um, which they might not, but, you know, they might, then um, you endanger that they will tow your vehicle away and then you've got to pay to to get your vehicle back all right so make sure you remove your vehicle within 24 hours okay and um, then a motor vehicle license that the white disc in, in the front window that is valid for 12 months okay and that's your learners all right so that's all the information you need um, uh, on your learners so what I will do is I'm gonna post this video on my channel please subscribe and like um, this is all the information you need uh, for your test. I'm going to post the actual um, um, the information that I just read off. I'm going to post that uh, on the channel so you can download it absolutely free. If you want uh, more questions, that's um, more like exam questions, then unfortunately you're going to pay for that. Uh, I will give you the information in the description area of this video. All right, enjoy your day, watch this video as often as possible because it will help you to pass your learners. Okay, all right, cheers guys, see you next time.